Okay, welcome back. We're going to start now by creating the numbers for the clock. So um, you need to add your numbers by going to your text, your your type tool, uh, and anywhere inside your artboard, just click and type in the number one. Now, as you can see, or more accurately, can't see, that number is really much too small for our graphics. So we're going to need to bump that size up quite a bit. Let's try 72. No, I think maybe we're going to go 100 points. Mm, let's take a look. Uh, maybe just slightly larger. Let's go 120. Okay, so now that we've got this number, uh, we've, we've got the number one here. One of the other things we want to change, we're going to select that number again with the text tool. We're going to make sure that our paragraph alignment is set to center align. Got to do this, otherwise uh, your numbers are not going to line up on the on the tick marks properly when you place them. So I'm going to drag this number one, and I'm going to center it right onto this uh, this guide. Now notice how it just snaps right to it. We're going to do that. Let go of the mouse and uh, decide whether we like that or not. I like it. I'm going to keep it. Now here's a pretty easy way you can get these things uh, built. Uh, fairly quickly and accurately. Um, what you do is you highlight or click the number with the with the black um, arrow, click and hold, hit shift and option. Now shift uh, constrains the direction you're going to drag and option will make a duplicate of the object you've uh, selected. So now I'm duplicating the number one and I'm dragging it down to uh, to the six o'clock position. Then I let go. And now I have two numbers on the screen. For our next step, we're going to place it at the 3 and 9 position. So what I'll do now is click, hold down the uh, mouse, key, mouse uh, button, hold option to copy. And then I'm going to drag that one over. This is a copy of the one over to the 9 o'clock position. Let go of the mouse and the key. And now I've got a number there at the 9 o'clock. Again, repeating, click hold down, option, shift, and we're going to make a duplicate and drag it across to the 3 o'clock position. And now I'm going to rinse and repeat. Click, hold, option, put it up in the 2 o'clock position. And now I'm going to make the one at the 4 o'clock position. So I, you can see where I'm going with this. I'm going to just finish this up until all the num numbers are placed. Okay, go ahead and do the uh, 11 o'clock, go over to 1 o'clock. And finally, 6 o'clock. All right. So now what you'll have is a clock with a bunch of ones, which isn't really what we want, but no fear. We can change that by going into our text selection tool, and we're going to change each of these to the appropriate number. So bear with me while I go and do that. Now click back on the arrow, black arrow tool and just have a look at it. Make sure everything looks like it's placed where you want it to be. Um, I'm not sure I like where the 5 and the 7 are, so I'm going to just select those two by hitting Shift and then clicking on them both. And I'm just going to nudge them up with the uh, up arrow just a bit. And I'm going to do the same with the 10. Actually, I'm just going to move that over with the arrow just a little bit further away from the tick mark. I feel like it's just crowding it a bit too much. Just eyeball it. Okay. 
I think I'm okay with that. Maybe the 11 and 1 can be dropped down just a hair. Okay. So once you've got what you like, you're going to go back up to Object, and you're going to unlock everything again, because now that we've got our numbers placed, we do not need this center polar grid. So we're going to take that thing, select it, and delete it, leaving you only with the clock face. Finally, uh, we're going to select the entire clock face, and we're going to go back up to Object, and we're going to lock it, lock selection, so that I can't inadvertently move those numbers around uh, when we start our next step. So we've created our clock face, uh, the base, the, the the base of it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a nice fill for it, and we're going to do that as a separate uh, circle circle object. So we'll do that in our next uh, tutorial.